But we got these banana suits. Got some friends. We got a scary looking legit gorilla. Oh. Uh, are you excited? Yeah. You like fun. you like the concept? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys came all the way from New York just for me. Right? Yeah, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you guys are lined up. You're stacked, right? You got a lot of work. Yeah, we got 10 days of uh, shoots lined up. We're going to be pretty busy. You wear the dinosaur costume, right? Yes, I do. If you guys watched Roman and I, you, if you remember the Jurassic prank we did, the first official prank, right? Yep, Jurassic prank one. Jurassic prank one. We crushed it. We lead by example. <laughs> and that costume was so hard to wear. If you look at the serial pranksters, uh, channel, you'll see our vlog. We did Roman and I did that with Kojo, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm inside this Tyrannosaurus Rex. We got fans, controls, yeah. mouth up ahead. Can you see? Oh, I can, yeah, a little bit. Little holes I can see out of. So now Brandon wears. Yeah, it's, a, the it's a lot of work. It's a lot of weight on your shoulders, and you feel it in your back a bit, and you can't really see, and you get hot. But you know, it's worth it when you get those reactions. This is the prank head, so people can punch it, kick it, whatever they're gonna do. The uh, the new head's gonna be fully animatronic, nostrils, wow, legs, eyes. Wow, that's awesome, dude. What's up, Travis? What's up, boss? My boy Travis is coming in on this one. He's gonna be a banana. Banana Mojama, the baddest, meanest <laughs> banana I've ever seen. Let's do it. I'm all about the banana life. <laughs> <laughs> Louis in the house. What's up, dude? Put that hat on real quick, that helmet. Or the hat. Let's see. No shit. Like, just get on the street one thing once in a while. Dude, that's ridiculous. That's so big. What up, Alex? About to go bananas. Yeah, you know the banana? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> He's the ornery banana. Yes. <laughs> oh God, there's a spot. Um, can you put it a little bit lower? Oh. Also, can you clear the... Uh, the hair from the... Yeah. yeah. So does your gorilla bite? No. Does he, does he, does he speak? Does he sit... Oh. Dude, that's awesome. Can you see out of there, Louie? Barely. <laughs> Let me see what your run looks like. Run at me, bro. Whoa, damn. <laughs> you were an awesome banana, Travis. Thanks, brother. So were you, Joe. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace okay, out, dude. Nice Later, guys. All right, Dennis. Peace. It, bro. See ya. <laughs> Yo, the Scion may not be the biggest car, but when you got your friends and you want to pack it, you can still pack them in there. What's up, man? Hey. You in there? We got the gorilla, we got Brandon, we got Billy, got stuff in the trunk. It's a tight fit, baby. Yeah. This is like family, though. <laughs> We're like a little close family right now. I got Vitaly at the World Cup. What's up, man? And we got these kids playing soccer. He ran the pitch. What's up guys? I'm back at the Scion farm again trading in my FRS for another FRS. The last one I had was a manual. It's going out to Comic-Con this weekend. So they're giving me this one. This one's a paddle shift. I enjoy driving this one so much better. It's faster, smoother, awesome. Just want to give a special thanks and official thank you to Scion for hooking it up. Every time we come to Los Angeles, now that we're starting to film this movie, we're out here a lot, and they hook us up with a ride. Roman's cruising in the XB this week. Sometime, whenever he comes and picks it up, it's big enough for his family, Noah, Kane, Britt, everybody, the whole crew. And even this car, when I drive it, I can pack in all my camera gear, everything, and it's a nice car. So I want to give an official thank you to Scion for hooking it up. Go to their Twitter, go to their Instagram, and tell them how awesome they are for hooking us up with wheels while we're here because it's a huge, huge help. Not to mention, 
It is fun driving this FRS, guys. I have a lot of fun doing it. We got Beverly Hills Caviar vending machine. Damn, a thousand dollars, holy smokes. I never thought I'd see a day a vending machine would say a thousand bucks. Just put your card in there, man. Just put it in there, cash only. Hanging out in Hollywood, about to go to the Jimmy Kimmel show, grabbing some lunch at the Chinese theater. Look at that place, whoa. Those monuments are huge. Let me give you a better look. Look at those elephants up there. And then right through there, you can see the Hollywood sign. See it? That's where it all happens, right there. Creature security? What the hell is that thing? That guy doesn't need security. I think he can secure himself. Is that what I look like in the morning? Yeah, that's what you look like in the morning. <laughs> What the hell is that? What is that, man? Oh, it's from Gardens of the Galaxy, that new movie, that superhero movie. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they're gonna promote it, I guess, in the Jimmy Kimmel show. Today? Yeah. Ah, uh, so we're going. We're going Jimmy Kimmel right now. What the heck? Guy in there, you see him? <laughs> What's up, dude? That is awesome. There's a guy inside the creature, and he maneuvers it. It's like that Tyrannosaurus Rex in our Jurassic Park. Yeah. World's over, guys. They're lining us up. <laughs> oh, you lazy bum. Watch out, man. Three. I'm gonna break it down like you come to Big Daddy. Probably got too high. I'm born in Cincinnati. I'm gonna tell you this thing by sweeping down the pastry. You told me your name was. Listen, I would yes, I'd have been as Guinness. Maybe let him have a little bit of Guinness. Yeah. You understand what I mean? From start to finish. I'm like bye bye right now. I'm just trying to get me spinach, Dennis. Oh. That's what I mean. I'm not a menace. Thank you, brother Dennis. But what you did for me, I appreciate this. Yeah. I'm not a bummer, but thank you for my stimulus. <laughs> All right, guys, just left the Jimmy Kimmel show. It was awesome. Very cool. Security is kicking me out right now. No, man, don't kick me out. What? <laughs> I uploaded the banana beatdown video on my Deeds channel. People are on the comment section going, Why wasn't the video longer? <laughs> The outro is longer than the video. That's funny. I wanted to upload the video and make it more dynamic, many more layers to it. Problem is, I had my camera guy that was supposed to be there. He canceled on me, bailed, and then the guy that was supposed to wear the gorilla suit would have been a perfect gorilla. I mean, he's a gorilla, so he'd have been a perfect gorilla. He was a no-call, no-show. So, and then I was down one extra banana. It doesn't look as epic when there's only three bananas. It would look better with five, but four worked. When I came back to download the footage to my computer, I'm looking through the clips and I'm like, I can't really use any of these clips. I just didn't like the way it was filmed. It's all good because my next video is going to be so much better. It's the official homeless addiction follow-up video going up next Sunday where it's Aaron and it shows him going from living underneath a bridge in Cincinnati, Ohio and six to seven months later, he's in West Palm Beach, Florida. He's got a full-time job, he's leading AA meetings, he's sponsoring guys in recovery. It's a remarkable story. He's gone leaps and bounds beyond anyone's expectations in such a short period of time. It's an amazing story. And don't worry, it won't be 30 seconds long. So while I have you guys here, I'm giving you a Deeds channel update. I'm moving the how-to pranks over to the Deeds channel. Number one, it's a good deed to teach you how to prank. Number two, it's one less channel that I have to send you off to to go watch. People are saying, yo, you're putting, you have too many channels, what's your deal? Second channel's already one too many. 
So the vlog channel will stay as is. I'm just gonna vlog more. And then the deeds channel will have the good deeds. And then I'm thinking about maybe having it how to pranks on Thursdays, the new deeds on Sundays. Um, so let me know what you think about that.